All right, we're going to show you how to put together the setup for the activity with the compass, the dry cells, and the knife switch. First thing is that you need two dry cells or bat dry cell or battery holders. These look a little bit different than those that are in the teacher notes. Um, you're going to go ahead and set them up with a negative wire on one dry cell holder connected to the positive or red wire on another. And you just simply need to take the two ends of those wires and twist them together so that there's contact. Next, from that dry cell holder, and if the wires come apart, just twist them together again. From this dry cell holder, you're going to take the negative lead or wire and attach it to the positive tab on the knife switch. You can go ahead and open up that knife switch. You want to bend the stripped end of the wire and attach it to the exposed screw on the bottom of the knife switch. You may need to bend the wire a little bit more. And then screw that down to make a firm contact. You're going to take the positive lead or wire from the other dry cell battery and you're going to connect it to a very long stripped wire. Again, you just take the two stripped ends of that positive and negative wire and twist them together for a full contact. Students then need a compass and you're going to wrap the long unattached wire around the compass parallel to the direction of the needle. You're going to want to get as close to eight wraps around the compass as possible. This can be a little fiddly. And you just want to wrap on either side of the ring at the top if the compass you have has a ring at the top. All right. Once you have as close to eight wraps as possible around the compass, You can then connect the loose negative end with this part of the knife switch. Again, just bending the exposed part of the wire, wrapping it around the screw, and then screwing that down. Students will then let the compass needle come to rest They'll note the position of the compass needle and then they'll close the circuit by closing the knife switch and they'll observe how that affects the compass needle position.